what's up guys Tan Tan here and welcome back to my channel today i got a probably one of the last studio series figures from revenge of the fallen and this is a guy that yeah we all see this coming that this is the studio series deluxe class sideways from transformer revenge of the fallen and to those of you who doesn't care or doesn't know this guy is the guy that got chopped down in half by side swipe in the first sequence of the film and his robot mode is like only appears in like i don't know five seconds before he transformed back into his vehicle mode i guess to save the cgi money so without further ado let's begin so here we have sideways here and this is the first time i have a fully detailed look about his robot mode i mean like he did appear in the movie but i cannot see that clear because that is obviously a night scene and then like the up and forward transforming sequence so here we are and first up i must say that i love this figure design plus the pen application why the pen application because he got a lot of that dull matte gray plastic and yet hasbro and takara very nicely give him not that much but enough of that bright metallic silver highlight you see some are on his chest, some are on his arms, some are on his thighs and leg, and then the face sculpt got painted. That does an extremely well job in highlighting that he is sideways in your collection. That means that if you're gonna put him onto a shelf, then yeah, you would know that this is sideways, not your average no-name Decepticons characters. And that is really nice. So now let's get to the, to the details of him. So first up, we got his face, his head, and as I have mentioned before, that is a really nice bright silver metallic paint. Really nice, really awesome. All that mechanical details onto the face really shout out Bayverse Transformer. And there's this little detail. I cannot show it too well on camera, but I'm going to take a picture and then put it on to the next few seconds. There are even a red eyes behind all this silver. I know that this is a really odd choice. Personally, for me, I would prefer a light piping for the red eyes instead of that paint. But I appreciate I appreciate the gesture. I think that it looked nice and really well done. Moving down to the torso, and I must say that this is one of the cleanest torso I have seen in Transformer figures. You see, really nicely done detail and really clean. And if you can turn him to the back, I mean, just look at that. There are like barely any cables visible. It's just like he got a big back or hunch and that's all that is all he looks so clean and so nice and i appreciate all the nice details over here and one thing for most for the specific this part here yes i do know that when i look at the concept art this section of him does bend to forward they could have ignored that and leave it blank leave it blank like this and i personally i have no problem with this whatsoever but they have gone through some uh, some minor trouble to make this happen Although it looks kind of weird, but I still appreciate the gesture. And now it looks, it looks really good. It looks really, really good here. I absolutely adore this attention to details over here. And now moving on to the arms. And this is a point where I must say that when I first look at this guy promo image, I thought that he's going to be like a retool of the barricade, but then I was wrong. His arm does resemble of the barricade, but that is like the masterpiece barricade not the studio series barricade and it he looks really good he looks really good with this arm here because like for barricade i'm gonna bring him in for you to compare for barricade you see both of them have long arms but for barricade it feels like he's having some like blocky and like pieces arm but for size where here the arms it just look more really neat and does look like a real alien arms i think like for the bavers what we expect is that the they are not like 100 robot they are more like mechanical aliens that i think that is like the more accurate definition of the bavers so i just look at the arms yeah really nice you got that highlight silver you got that mechanical arm section here and then just look at the fingers they are really nice and they does articulate but i'm gonna show that later and yeah that is really nice now finally is the leg which i must say is my least favorite part of this figure because like just look how out scale that leg is i would expect him to have you know like a bigger leg but then i guess if they're gonna make a bigger leg that would not looks like that would not highlight him as like the sideways so 
I can respect that. Not too much to say about leg. The leg here, this is more like the skeleton frame of the leg more than an actual leg because look how skinny that is. And of course, you still got a lot of hollow parts inside. Uh, just look at all that hollow section. But anyway, I'm, I'm feeling good about this guy. I have no problem whatsoever. And for some comparison between this guy and Barricade, as you can see here, Barricade's legs still have some cables and still give him that bulkiness feels of him. But for Saiwa, it's a more slicker leg. Because, but anyway, because Barricade's legs is so bulky, I actually like that because it makes the figure look stronger. But for sideways, this is the case of too skinny for me. Now for some size comparison. So you have seen him next to Barricade and they are quite on the similar size. Barricade is a little bit higher but then sideways got his draw like punching in and there they are next to the Voyager class Megatron. And as you can see here, this is a perfect scale. I just love how the studio series stay true to the scaling system. They, they just look really nice together. For accessories, the only thing that we came with sideways is that hand attaching gun and I guess this is a submachine gun because we, because we got three barrels over here. Of course, we don't know that if this is accurate or not because we have never seen it on the film. But I like it because personally, when I first saw it, I thought it was sort of some kind of like spring load weapon. But yeah, I, I like this. It's pretty nice and the way you attach it is pretty easy. So first, you gotta do a little transform here. You gotta put the joint back here to in the hands into this position and I you see this round detail over here it is match up with the tires I just love the details execution on that and you're just gonna plug it in and there's this and there will be this tab over here and then up the fingers and there they will he holds it really secure and yeah now, now you can do some shooting boom boom and thus it's just make the arms look a lot bigger and of course you can store his weapon onto his back. Now let's get to his articulation. The articulation begins with the head. He can look up really far and not much down. 360 spin. It's on a ball joint so sometimes it, it falls off. The arms can swing out and this is a they have a butterfly joint over here so that is really good. And you can do a full rotation bicep swivel not really like bicep this is like the elbow swivel because like this elbow is on a ball joint hands movement like that for the transformation and the attaching of the weapons fingers articulation really good and I, uh, I'm gonna add a bonus right here his gun can attach on both sides and you got a uh, Waist rotation, kick to the front, kick to the back, nice split, good. You got a thigh swivel, which is decent enough. This is the knee bend, 90 degrees. This is the movement of the feet. And this on the ball joint, so you can do a little bit of pivot over there on here. Articulation wise, this guy is decent enough for deluxe class. I'm glad that he has that range of articulation because he would be one of the figures that I'm gonna play with a lot. So yeah, he better got some decent articulation. So let's get to his alternate mode and finish this video. Finished transforming sideways, and I must say he continued his looks a really, uh, a really clean looking mod to a really clean looking car. I love the car. I love everything about this figure. Just look at that. You still got that dark gray color, and at this robot mode, these silver highlight is more aligned together because you now you got all the pieces focus onto each other as a size. 
and and in this mode here you can see on the top of the car you got some silver stripe that is like that is like really really cool i love that details i love how they execute it how clean it is and yeah i, I must i love everything about this this guy i love everything from the vent in in front of the cars just look oh that's really nice vent from the, to the headlights is deep and from, to the back you got the brake lights as the red over here painted really nice and all this all the vent details and all that exhaust pipe it just looks so good on this figure if i'm gonna make a list of the best alternate mode of a transformer then this guy would be on the top tier list just really cool it's really nice okay and of course you still can store his weapon this is the same as in robot mode you just are gonna plug this in but me personally i'm gonna leave this out because i think that looks terrible and for some comparison with our good friend's barricade over here yes you can see he's wider than barricade for sure and the height and the, the length i think it's like barricade is a little bit longer or no they are on the same size they are the same so like barricade is actually less plastic than this guy and if you're gonna flip him around you see the down keyboard and this just i thought this guy is a retool barricade but i was wrong because for barricade, when the, the feet is onto the back section of the car, like this, this guy here, the feet is on in the front, like it moves all the way in. And of course, you can still see the face, but that is a minor. Because no one is going to dis ever display their figures like this, that just look dumb. And I just love the way that the hands are transformed and like grabbing onto the interior section. That is just looks so beautiful. That is like absolutely beautiful and smart engineering of the figures. And last but not least, we got some other size comparison with Optimus. And if you can see here now, I think Prime is a little bit small compared to this. I think I could now looking onto sideways, I, I wish that Prime would be a little bit bigger. That would look more awesome. And so that should be it for this figure. What do you guys think of this? If you like it or don't like this figure, hit me in the comment section below. Turn turn out.